Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what are four juicy love myths that are creating a lot of pain in women's hearts across the world, well, stick around, because I'm going to be sharing with you what they are on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and uh, this is only the 25th take. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, but hopefully I get it this time. I want to share with you today four juicy love myths that are creating so much pain in women's lives these days. The first one is, it's a feeling, it's a stance that says, he will create that magic that is missing from my life. And it's almost as if somebody's sitting down saying, well, right now my life kind of sucks. I'm feeling like I'm not super excited. I'm a little bit bored right now. I'm not feeling the juice of life, but wait, when that knight in shining armor comes, my life will be fucking rainbows and unicorns. Well, I'm here to tell you, sadly, sister, that that's not the case. It's sometimes the case for the short term. Your life is boring, he comes around, sweeps you up your feet, but the challenge when that happens, when he's so much more magical than what you're experiencing, that you get this codependent relationship where if he goes away, he doesn't text, you start feeling so empty. So the, the, the key is never to, he'll never create the magic. He's going to magnify the magic you already have. So if you're currently not feeling the magic, do not wait for a man to create it in your life. Create it on your own life first, and then add to it by connecting with someone who has magic in his life. Number two, I'll know he's the one the moment I meet him. Almost like my true soulmate will be revealed to me in an instant of thunder and oceans parting and angels singing in the background. Well, here's the truth. For some human beings, that is absolutely the case. You connect with someone and you know, you know what, we're going to get married and you get married and 45 years later, you're still together and happy. But for so many women, that first moment is not the thing that creates that sense of ultimate magic. Sometimes it's a third date, sometimes it's a tenth date. But if you're going around life feeling like you need to know in that instant that that person is the one, you're gonna leave so many opportunities on the table and so many men who could have been that amazing human being, that slow fire that could have turned into an amazing, you know, uh, bonfire, <laughs> but it wasn't just this powerful spark at the beginning, but can change through time. So just know that you don't necessarily have to know that he's the one the moment you meet him. You need to feel some level of chemistry, but sometimes chemistry grows through time. Number three, uh, it's not in the cards for me. That's a third myth so many women will fall for. They go through painful experiences, breakups, heartbreaks, betrayals, and they say, well, it's just not in the cards for me. And here's the thing. It's a lot easier to say it's not in the cards for me to, than to recognize I have to get up, dust myself off, and go it again with the potential of getting hurt one more time. If you're unwilling to risk getting hurt and getting your heart broken, then you can justify your lack of courage by saying it's not on the cards for me. If you want this experience and you're willing to pay the price, which is a huge theme in every video I share, if you're not willing to pay the price to be in love with someone, to share your heart openly, which is the price is potentially getting hurt, potentially wasting your time. If you're not willing to go there, then you'll potentially come up with something that says it's not on the cards for me. Just know that it's in the cards for you as long as you're willing to stand up again, dust off, and continue going. Hopefully with a better strategy than last time, okay? And with new recognition and new ideas and new distinctions that will enable you not to fall onto the same trap one more time. Number four, true love overcomes everything. Here's the truth. True love is incredibly important in a relationship. It's an essential part of a committed relationship, of an intimate relationship. But there's so much more than love that is required. There's compatibility, there's an alignment of values, there's spiritual closeness. There's, so can love overcome something? At what cost? If you're going to use love as a force to stay with someone when you're not really compatible with a human being, then you're gonna create misery in each other's lives. So I'd say love can overcome so many things, but there's other factors that are as important as love without which this romantic idea is not really a sustainable possibility. Hope these four myths, the recognition of them, and if you're stepping into one or more of them, breaking out of them like yesterday, create some power in your life. If you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video, 
somewhere on your screen, you'll see a pop-up show up that will allow you to sign up to a webinar I'm hosting that will share with you a blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me today and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.